Professor Yao, Professor Wong, Dr. Ma, Dr. Lo, Professor Mok, honorable guests, and everyone, especially teachers and students from my school, BLTSS, who have come here to support us today. My name is Bokman. My name is Hiu Long. And we are pleased to share our experience in the Yao High School Science Award today. We are from six students from Baptist Learning Trust Secondary School, and we were very lucky to receive the gold prize of the award. I would like to begin our sharing by telling you a bit of our math journeys. In primary school and junior secondary school, I tried math Olympias before. However, I found them not my cup of tea because I liked learning new concepts rather than new problem solving skills. In Form 3, I got to know some friends who were interested in pure maths and they would discuss terms like holomorphism, contour integrals, group rings and ideals. And we discussed math from time to time together and I got an informal introduction to these topics. And it was at this time that I realized that my curiosity couldn't be fulfilled in the standard curriculum. During the pandemic, I watched many YouTube lectures and studied some basic concepts in maps. For example, I found the most, uh, one of the concepts I found the most captivating are the Fourier series, which allows you to draw almost any shapes in terms of sines and cosines. And in Form 4, I joined a summer course from uh, the Chinese University of Hong Kong on differential geometry, and then I realized the power of linear algebra and how much influence math can make, which made me want to study math in, at university. And Hugh Long has been one of my friends who I frequently discussed math inside and outside school. And in about May, I encountered this competition and we decided to give it a shot with Hugh Long to apply what we have studied and to challenge ourselves academically. Uh, well, to me, uh, when I was in primary school and junior secondary school, uh, I participated in local math Olympiads, and I really liked those competitions since they allowed me to think about problems in new ways outside the school curriculum. Then, uh, while I was in the pandemic, uh, I discovered advanced math topics like linear algebra and abstract algebra for YouTube lectures, both of which would normally be taught in university. And in the next year, I began to study real analysis and number theory and to dive deep into these topics. And I tried to formulate some statements based on what I learned with the problem solving skills that I developed during math Olympia training. And then when we went back to offline school, I found out that Bachman had also a similar experience as me. And we discussed a lot of math afterwards, such as ZFC and set theory. It was not until the YHSA competition that my time spending from lacing theorems were put into good use. Well, what is the YHSA competition? The Yao High School Science Award is a research-based competition organized by Professor Yao. And currently it covers subjects include, including math, physics, biology, chemistry, computer science, and economic and financial modeling. We were tasked to complete a full research report in the professional standard. We wrote our paper in LaTeX, which is widely used in academia for communication. And like the format of any other research papers, we included an abstract, body, and references. Then we defended our paper before a panel of math professors. Uh, at first, in the research, we considered different topics like Taylor series, generating functions, and even looking into areas such as origami. And then in the next month, we read different textbooks and papers to learn about the machineries in analytic number theory. For example, Mobius inversion gave a nice relation between counting primes and prime factorization. We talked about the topic almost every day, and finally we came up with a way to prove the main statement. In October, we received the news that we would be doing an oral defense. So we looked at the research again. At this time, we came up with even more insights of our formula. So we wrote them into our PowerPoint. A year ago, 
I was plotting some infinite series using GeoGebra in my computer, and the weirdness of the shape inspired me to explore infinite series. This is why I wanted our team to do something in number theory to shed light on important theorems, such as related to the Riemann data function and the prime number theorem. Then we thought of how summing a series of numbers can lead to very important consequences in number theory, such as the harmonic series and the prime analog, which are the keystones of our research. So in our research, we wanted to do something different from our predecessors. So we tried to play around with different conditions. And we thought about what about we tweak the harmonic series. Uh, so our starting point of the research uh, is from the partial sum of reciprocals of primes, which uh, it was well known that it is asymptotic to log of log of n plus O of 1. So we thought it would be interesting to consider replacing the prime with co-primes. And we came up, in fact, with a formula for that. And later on, we also extended to arbitrary many uh, two groups of, uh, of co-primes. And we proved, the, we proved that it is asymptotic to log k of n. Finally, we extended our research into the density of K2 groups of gold prime, um, which we deduced to be one over zeta of K. So uh, our research actually has some significance on different topics, like we linked calculus with number theory. Harmonic series allows us to link sequences of numbers of familiar functions in calculus like counting, fun counting numbers to logarithm, and also the Riemann zeta function to sequences of nth powers. Furthermore, our research also could shed light on a new family of sums in analytic numbers. For example, as you can see here, there are, it is very well known that uh, the Dirichlet series of phi of n, is, where, where phi is the euler totian function, is a ratio between two Riemann zeta functions. So we thought that we could, uh, if in the future, we could uh, try to tweak it into a multivariate co-prime case, and perhaps it will uh, become, it will have some interesting results. So our, how do we do research? Uh, we elaborate on the gaps that people left by changing some essential conditions of previous results, we can explore the properties of the conditions like using Mobius inversion to investigate the co-prime pairs. And also we use technology to, uh, for example, we compute our sum to affirm that our formula is valid. We cannot expect our deviations to always be correct. And so by verifying the results with a computer, we can confirm that our thought process is correct. And here's one of our research experience. Initially, we were stuck uh, at how the sum can be evaluated. After searching relentlessly for weeks, we suddenly found a key lemma which worked and we could derive our results. And we were overwhelmingly excited. Uh, fast forward to the oral defense. I was actually super, super nervous about the sheer amount of intellect in a single Zoom room. So I sort of presented too fast. And in the Q&A section, professors asked about questions like the motivation of the topic. Uh, but luckily I, I could still answer them. Uh, my, most my most unforgettable experience is when Professor Yao asked why we added our proof of the general case after the deadline. And I was too nervous and asked him to repeat the question. Uh, I felt my heart raced really quickly, but luckily everything went smoothly. So from the YHSA completion, we gained many insights. Uh, first, uh, we thought that it is a very invaluable research experience, which I will leave this to Hugh Long later. And also we could explore knowledge beyond the curriculum and we can employ 
our creativity to draw connections between one another. And I'm extremely proud of how much influence our research can make to the academic community and to everyone in general. And it reaffirms my dream to become an applied mathematician to deal with imminent social issues. For example, by building climate models to monitor climate change. And last but not least, it's certainly a great CV item as mentioned by Professor Yao. Um, in our research, uh, we uh, drew connections between different science disciplines. Uh, usually some problems can be solved using the techniques within the field alone. A greater picture of the techniques in science is required to gain additional macroscopic views of the field. This is true, especially in mathematics. Discovering the relations between objects is the focus of studying mathematics. Mathematicians and even scientists in general have been trying to link different areas of the interest together. And perhaps in a world where a priori discovery is quite slow, combining different results together is the main way scientists can progress. Uh, like the Riemann hypothesis, which uh, uses advanced tools to link calculus with prime numbers, our research also links co-prime numbers with calculus. And finally, serendipity plays a major role in our research process. The simplicity of the result is quite unexpected, given that the change of condition seems to be quite arbitrary. Nonetheless, we could then quickly generalize our results to get the main statement. And finally, we would like to express our immense gratitude to BLMTSS with the amount of support from our teachers and wonderful friends that created an intellectually stimulating environment. Our research would not have been possible without all the resources and help. As Isaac Newton said, if I have seen further than others, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Indeed, by building our research on top of famous mathematicians like Euler and Mobius, we could see a greater view of the mathematical landscape. I was extremely happy when we won the gold award of this competition, but I calmed myself down very quickly because by seeing how little I learned in math compared to many professors, I realized that I have a very long way to go in the future. To all the bright young minds here, I encourage you all to pursue your interests freely outside the classroom. Thank you very much.